Hey everybody, how we doing today? Windy, windy day here in the Florida Keys, but the last windy day here in the Florida Keys because the forecast is beautiful. Just check this out. So, as you can see, we're gonna have some beautiful conditions here for the foreseeable couple weeks. So we're gonna take advantage of it and it's gonna be fishing and fishing and fishing. So, I wanna do one last, pardon me, one last windy day video. Uh, one of the things that's happening, we just finished the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, the schools are graduating the kids and the temps are up in the 90s with over 100 degree heat injexes. And what does that mean? It's summertime, all right? So one of the things that I like to do every year is to focus on a key component to fishing, especially down here in the Florida Keys, and that's sun protection. It's all about the sun protection and the bug protection. So today's video, I wanna focus on my sun protection gear, which also kind of seconds as my bug protection as well. But uh, we've got a lot of people gonna be coming down to the Keys for a summer vacation. Kids are out of school. And uh, of course, we've got a lot of people coming from the mainland and the great white north that haven't seen the sun for seven, eight months. And they're gonna be coming down really pasty. <laughs> and uh, one of the things you gotta be very careful about is our ultraviolet sun down here. It, it, it can be very, very in, intense. And uh, one of the pillars for my All About the Bait company is specific gear for the keys. Now, and that includes the stuff that I wear. So you notice I sell a bunch of stuff that kind of focuses on that. So today's video is being sponsored by these guys. All right, I'm carrying a line of fishing gloves now our sun gloves sometimes they call it basically just real lightweight they're that lycra spandex with a inner the white light ones have a imitation style leather faux leather while the darker gray one has a uh, real thin rubberized so for extra protection uh, i'm going to be selling these on the website for 12 dollars and 10 dollars free shipping why that's a big deal and that was wrong purpose was because if you try to find gloves at the stores they start out like 20 to 30 bucks and it's insane and then you throw on a name on there like sims or huck or whatever and you're on 40 or 50 bucks and it's a crazy so that's why i never wore them in my all my years of fishing because it's just like that's just crazy but uh one of my suppliers has the ability to get me a bunch of these so i got a couple of these two different styles to test out and uh, what I'm focusing on is one, that they work, so that's a good thing. But two, is just get people into it to try it, all right? Because if you were like me, where it was cost prohibitive and you just weren't sure about it, now you can spend 10 bucks and you can test them out and see if you like them. And then maybe you go spend 40, 50 bucks on a nice pair of fishing gloves, but at least you'll know that, yeah, you like them, you want them, and you'll get a better set. No different than like my face mask, okay? Uh, you go to the store, they're really expensive, but there's nothing to them. I found a vendor, got them very inexpensive, and that's why I keep pushing them. Uh, when you buy the shirts, you get one at half price, just so that I get people to try them. Uh, they make such a difference, and I get so many people that just get one, and then all of a sudden they're owning four or five of them because they really enjoy them. But anyways, Fishing gloves on sale now, allaboutthebait.com. That's who's paying for the video. So let's show you what I wear top to bottom. Now on top, I got a baseball cap for fishing. I don't wear it for fishing, all right? Can't stand baseball hats on fishing. They're cool and stuff. You're making the fishing show. Yeah, you gotta do it, sponsor, name, whatever. But nothing beats a wide brim, okay? Neck flap, protect the back of your head but that wide brim surrounding your whole front of your face, side of the face, all the way around, is just hugely important for visibility, for seeing, but that sun protection as well, okay? The sun doesn't stay right in front of your face, and when you're on the water, you're fishing, you're looking every different direction all the time, and that sun is burning the side of your face when you wear this hat, like that, okay? It's just boom, angles, angles. Okay, only when you're looking directly at it, perpendicular with the sun there, does it help out with this skinny bill on it. Wide brims, huge difference there. All right, next, the face mask. 
or the fishing buff, okay? Boom, you get full coverage, put it on your face, put the sunglasses on, and you've got full coverage there without having to uh, wear any kind of liquid sunscreen or whatnot. Pretty much the best cover-up is just fabric cover-up, not putting chemicals and so forth. Uh, after the uh, buff there, it also does protection on your neck, even if you're not having it over your face. It's just an extra layer there where a lot of people miss and they get that burnt back of the neck and it just wipes you out because you're just in agony there. All right, next we go to the long sleeve shirt. Not short sleeves, long sleeves, okay? And as I was talking about before, all my sun garb, okay, protection stuff, also secondary as bug protection because early morning before the sun comes up and that evening time, it can be brutal out there, especially if you're inshore anywhere around mangroves. Those no seams will come after you first, then those mosquitoes. And it, it could make a nasty evening or nasty early morning if you don't have this. Or your option is, is hose yourself down with DEET, but it's better to cover up with fabric than cover up with chemicals. All right. From there, I go to some standard, just plain sweatpants. Probably don't get to see this very much on my videos, but I just go down and get some $10 sweatpants, old school style with elastic bottoms on it, okay? And that just keeps it uh, closed off, keeps all the bugs out, keeps it down on your ankles, all right? And it makes a big difference when I'm sloshing around in the water too. Uh, doesn't need to be quick drying because summertime it's hot and cooler when things are wet, to be honest with you. And that's when I don't mind my kayak because my kayak is just like kayaking in a shower because I'm just constantly drenched. Summertime, no problems, keeps me cool there. So sweatpants are good. Um, I also like to go a little bit thicker and not super thin because of mosquito bite prevention. Uh, any fabric will stop no seams, but mosquitoes will barely make it through these uh, thicker sweatpants, so that's why I like those. Uh, following up with that, summertime, summer rains. It's going to rain every single day, day and it'll dump some heavy uh, water on you. And yeah, it's hot, it's humid, and you think, oh, that's nice, but it's a 20 degree temperature drop, plus the wind start blowing, and you can actually truly start chilling yourself pretty quickly out there. Uh, so it's nice to have a nice thin rain jacket here. Um, I've had this brand Paradox. They're discontinued, but I love them, so I keep finding them and buying them. But lightweight, uh, totally breathable, waterproof, true waterproof, just not just plain nylon. And uh, it keeps me dry, put the hood up, get there, tuck her down, and I stay dry and cool and not chilly. Plus, I always take a rain jacket even when it's not raining because uh, mosquitoes will bite through just standard fabric, thin fabric like this. But I could put that on with my sweatpants and boom, I'm golden. All right. Then you add on to that the face of the uh, gloves. All right. $12, $10, and you have full protection here not only from the sun, but also again from those bugs getting you because usually that's the thing that's exposed that you get gnawed on when you're out there and that helps prevent that. I uh, really love these, been testing these out for the last month. Uh, one of the big uh, issues I had was I thought that they would get in the way of things and I wouldn't like them, but to be honest with you, you can't even tell they're on. Uh, super lightweight because of that spandex material. It's hugging, as soon as you get them wet, it's like a second skin and uh, it works perfect that way. Plus, they are bug proof, plus they're fin proof, all right? I deal with pinfish, mullet, shrimp, and all of those spear me, all right? And they always cause the ouchies, but these are fin proof, which make it nice, okay? Now, uh, what do we go down? Got the pants, then I go to, boom, uh, water shoes, okay? Uh, I get the flat soles ones that are made for walking around even though they're kind of like scuba diving style, okay? Uh, very important, no flip-flops because that's exposure. Um, tennis shoes work okay, but I'm in the water a lot and my tennis shoes, if I wore them the salt that often, they're just gonna disintegrate really quickly. Plus, I am in the water a lot, okay? Especially when I'm on the flats in the backcountry, I'm out of the kayak. I'm either standing up in the kayak or I'm walking around on the flats, uh, either to pull myself out of the uh, it's too shallow a spot that I have to walk over to getting to some uh, places that the boats can't, or I'm stocking fish 
and you can't do that in your barefoot and it doesn't work having flip-flops and even the strapped uh, sandals you they just push through when they get wet they suck and i get regular true water shoes with soles for it um, that gets me sun protection uh, that keeps the uh, bugs off and i can actually get in the water and have protection from the corals so no worries there plus i can swim in them no problem so boom highly recommend that as well then finally what we've got is boom all right i do throw on the liquid but as you can see i'm covered from hand to toe now except for my fingertips there uh, another thing good thing with about the gloves is before i was lathering up my hands with the uh, uh sunscreen but then I'm a live bait guy as well, and I'm dipping my hand in my bait well, getting those fish out, and that's not good for that either. Plus, it tends to wash off because I'm always, my hands are always in the water somewhere, and then that sunscreen wears off very easily. So I end up having no protection on the hand. So gloves make a big deal there. But usually what I'll do is I'll start the day off at least putting this on my face, ears, and then usually I have the, the neck mask, so it's not that big of a deal. So generally the face, and that's about it, and then I'm good to go. Then when I'm out, I could put the face mask on, and then I don't have to worry about this as much. But what I look for in this, I use the SPF 50 Plus. Um, I also look for something that is made for the water, all right? You can't just put some just normal stuff off because uh, it's not really the water that flushes it off, although on my kayak it is, I get rainstormed on it's the sweating and you need something that will stick even though you sweat so this stuff is pretty gunky but it'll at least stay on and that's hugely important there so that's my spiel uh nice pair of uh, sunglasses but that's for another video and uh like see i'll be totally covered except my tips of my fingers now all right and yeah everything else is covered and no chemicals and that's very important too when you fish a lot like me um, I don't want to be covered in DEET and sunscreen all the time. Uh, really highly recommend that. If you're like worried about like, oh, I want to be super cool. When you're out fishing, there's nobody looking at you. It doesn't make that big of a deal, but it will in your future. Um, I don't know if you see the sun-eating people out here, the people that just, oh, I love the sun. They look like leather, walking leather and uh, one of the reasons why I didn't want to be a fishing guide or a commercial fishing person when I had the opportunity is if you ever look at a fisherman's hands, their ears, their neck, and their face skin, and it is just a mess, all right? Things are getting better. The guides are getting smarter. They're covering up like you see here. But yeah, if you see somebody that's on the water a lot, you tell, just look at their hands and the ears, and it's just, ugh. And then you hear the stories about uh, going to the doctors and getting those chunks of flesh cut out. Not good. Not worth it. So cover up. Don't worry about the peer pressure part of it. It's better be covered, not burnt, and go out the next day feeling good than go out there and be cool, get some photos, and end up burnt and having a miserable rest of your week here in the Florida Keys. So anyways, sun protection. Check them out. Check out the gloves at allaboutthebait.com. And thanks for watching, and next video we'll be fishing. I guarantee it. Bye.